Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan with Skyline Acres. We're glad to have you here. If you haven't been here before, we are a small homestead located in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. And we do all kinds of stuff. Uh, anything that you would do on a rural acreage. And today, uh, this is going to kind of be a, a little uh, different video, probably a shorter one, but um, let me show you what we've got. Alright, so for whatever reason, I'm finding myself hooking up to trailers now more than ever, even though I have before quite a bit too. Um, and the thing is, I can't afford a truck with a backup camera. Um, and I know there's a, there's a little wireless camera called the Eyeball. Um, I looked into that, but you're still looking at 180, 200 bucks. And so I said, there's gotta be something else. So this is just basically uh, yellow balls on extendable poles and there's a magnet on the bottom. And people really like this on the reviews on Amazon. So, I mean, let's, let's give it a try. So here's what they look like. It's a strong magnet here. And this telescope's up, all right. And you get two of them, one for your trailer, one for your truck. And the instructions say, align a marker ball vertically next to the vehicle ball hitch. Raise the marker ball until it is even with the top of the vehicle ball hitch. What they're trying to do is they're trying to, you're using the, you're using the extendable alignment thing to then go raise your trailer up to the right height. So let's do that. All right guys, so one thing I forgot to mention, this kit with the two extendable balls here basically was like 22, something like that dollars on Amazon. Um, the other thing is I mainly um, tow with my F-150 um, and I went to go film this and I realized the ball on there is currently the two and five sixteenths and the trailer back here that I want to move is, uh, is a two inch, just regular ball. So I didn't want to, for this little test, I didn't want to switch things out. So I'm going to use my little uh, Ranger here. But what it says to do is basically find the top of the ball which is there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this underneath the trailer real quick to get the height of your hitch on your trailer. So let's do that. By doing this extra step, it will prevent you from having your trailer too high and in theory, denting up your bumper and all of that. So here's our measurement. We need to go up a little bit. And you want it, you, the instructions say you want it a little bit higher. It's about like that. By the way, guys, I built this trailer back in uh, 2004 as a uh, high school project. And I still use it quite a bit today. It's a six by 10 utility trailer. So we're done with step one and maybe two. Let's move on. All right, guys, so here's basically the next step is you put one of your markers on your ball hitch there like so and they extend up so these truck this truck doesn't have tall sides but all these new trucks the sides are so tall and the ball will extend up high enough that you can see in your rear view mirror i did test it out on my f-150 um i think it goes up to like 52 inches so that's i put that there and then on the trailer you basically do the same thing you attach it there to there. This is my first time using it, so I'm not expecting perfection. But I will say I watched some YouTube videos of people that have used it and, you know, were they could back up very first time dead on. And I don't know about you guys, but 
I get tired of getting in and out of the vehicle five and six times trying to get everything lined up. All right, guys, so let's see how it does. My truck is way up there, way out of the way. I mean, I haven't even tried to line it up or anything yet. So this will be a good test. All right, so that's the first test. We've got it. We backed right up to it here. Let's have a look. All right, so this is it, guys. And as you can tell, all I've got to do is push this tongue over and we'll be good to go. Um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't perfect, but um, it was my first time using it. So, um, you know that's kind of that was kind of expected but this particular trailer I can just push over and get it on but the the other trailer I have it's too heavy to do that which is the main reason I bought this but so there you, I mean even just with this not being perfect I didn't have to get in and out of the truck 700 times to get this on. Hey guys, so I filmed the video and realized I forgot to um, talk about some of the, the other uses people use this for. As I was reading the Amazon reviews, a lot of people use these um, for like trailers that might have an item on it and then you take the item off and then you can't hardly see the trailer. So like a boat or a jet ski, once you take the, the boat or jet ski off, the trailer's so low you can't hardly see it. So what they were using, they were just, they were taking these extendable balls and attaching them to the edge of the trailer on both sides and um, extending them all the way out that way you could see the edge of your trailer. And I thought about it. Um, we have a barn that we, we a, a pole barn that we back into. And with an empty trailer, it's hard to tell if you're going to uh, make it through, you know, left and right on the 12 foot wide doors. So you could put this on the fenders and so forth and kind of kind of use it as a guide like that. And then I thought about other things too, like um, possibly for like pallet forks on a tractor, um, different things like that. So I, maybe you guys can come up with some other things. But I did want to mention that about the trailers because a lot of people were not just using them to align um, the ball hitches up. All right, guys. So I know that wasn't the most thrilling video I've ever made. And actually, it was unexpected. I wasn't even going to make a video on this, but I had to move the trailer today. Um, but anyways, I do feel like this is at least a helpful option. I mean, it's $20, keep it in the truck. And even my first time using it, I still, uh, I backed up one time. I didn't back up, pull forward, back up, pull forward. And I meant to mention as well, my F-150 is a new to me truck. It's not new, it's a new to me truck. And I'm just not totally used to it yet either. This Ranger, I'm really used to. So um, that's kind of why, you know, these will be helpful too. I'm just not totally used to that, that F-150. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again next time. If you like this kind of content, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Thank you.